All right, this is a very famous or infamous Tom Cruise interview, and many people have seen the part where it gets into his family, but let's see how it starts off the tone of the interview. Do you feel discriminated against when people say this is what Scientology is, that you're a bunch on a lunatic fringe or whatever? Does that... Peter? Tom? No one's ever said that to me. But no, I mean... So, first of all, right away, you could see that what is going to happen later is not just coming out of nowhere. The interviewer clearly went in there trying to get Tom Cruise riled up. And you see this a lot with reporters with the news is they have a goal when they go into the interview. It's not always about just reporting, it's about getting a reaction. So he's probably trying to look to get a reaction out of Tom Cruise. Whatever your opinion on Scientology, obviously that's gonna get a reaction. So that's how it all starts off. Perception out there. Yeah, but that's not the perception out there. I, I, that is absolutely, uh, maybe from your perspective. This isn't my personal opinion. I'm just saying, how do you feel about that when people... Well, how would you feel? Oh, if it was my faith, I'd feel well, not, really... Not, not even your own faith. I, I find that appalling. All right, so just keep that in mind right there when he's saying it's not his opinion that's going to be important later. Now we get into the famous part where it gets personal and we get to see how hot Tom Cruise handles it. Adopted kids, Isabella and Connor, will have as normal an upbringing as possible. Your family life was, was difficult. You were estranged from your father and your mum and dad were divorced. Has that had an impact on you as a dad, how you bring up your children? Your, your children? I'm hoping to. Okay, good. Yeah, I hope I can. Good. Good. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. I've, I've, had a, I've got a great mother and a uh, very close family. And uh, it's something that uh, I always wanted to be a father. You know? mm. And I think that one of the great things that we've done with our children is allowing them to be themselves. Is that hard to give them a perspective that they... Again, you see the same thing is right away, the reporter, He's throwing things at Tom Cruise. Now, we're used to people who are famous in the public eye, people say whatever they want about them, but still look at it from Tom Cruise's perspective. This guy is just saying, you were affected by this and that, and this is your past, and this is how your father felt about you. Imagine how you would feel if someone you didn't know that well is basically psychoanalyzing you and telling you how your past had affected you and how it's gonna affect you as a parent. You can't get much more personal than that. So already we're seeing the boundary crossing and we're gonna see what Tom Cruise did was he goes, do you have children? So he turns back and gives a question to the reporter. So what we're gonna see that you don't really see in the clips is Tom Cruise is giving a lot of little warnings where he asks a question back, he's making it clear that he's not enjoying this. It's not just zero to 100. Was Nicole the love of your life? What do you, what do you mean, Peter? You were married for 10 years. I, listen, we raised children. I. You know, I mean, how do you You're answer struggling. that? How do you answer that question? She's someone that uh, I, uh, you know, I plan on getting married again. You do? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And having kids? Absolutely. But Nicole was a major part of your life and a love of your life at the time. I loved Nick very much. There's no question. Would you like Nicole to remarry? Yes. I want Nicole to be happy. That's what I want. And do you have a relationship where you, you talk, it's a parenting relationship, you know, and talk professionally about each other's why don't we? Why don't, listen, here's the, here's the thing, Peter. Yeah. You're stepping over a line now. You're stepping over a line. You know you are. Well, I suppose they're questions Peter, though, that people want to know. Peter, you want to know. Take and responsibility for what you want to know. Don't say what other people. This is a conversation that I'm having with you right you're now. You're right. Okay, so I'm just telling you right now, Okay, just put your manners back in. Do you think I was out of line? Yes, absolutely. Well, I apologize for that Good. sincerely. All right. So there are two really important things there. Number one is Tom Cruise looks really intense there when Peter might have given himself a little bit of an out on its surface when he's saying people want to know. So one way to interpret that is if you were Tom Cruise is you could say something like, okay, well, let's leave those questions out that people want to know and let that move on. So it gives the person an out. 
But in this particular situation, we saw that earlier when Peter was saying what he was saying about Scientology, which was clearly designed to upset Tom Cruise. He used that people want to know technique again. So the important things there is one, Tom Cruise's response there is pretty appropriate because it was a repeated thing and now he's calling him out on the technique very, very explicitly saying, you, you're not going to use that anymore. I'm going to hold you responsible for what you say. But there's a slight dichotomy here is when we're learning from this, learning from this communication, realize that this is more intense than most of us are going to run into in our daily lives, unless maybe you're a politician. But normally reporters are much more aggressive with someone like Tom Cruise or in certain situations like this than we're going to find in terms of typical office politic politicking or passive aggression. So keep that in mind. Tom Cruise's response is pretty appropriate, but in an alternative situation where it's a bit less intense that we're more likely to run into, you could let him take that out. Like people want to know, you say, okay, great, and then move on. And it would be very possible that it'd be a smooth way to let it move. So that's the key point there. Tom Cruise's response is probably not what we're, we're going to use, but for this context, it makes sense. Now the ending is super awesome. There's a lot to learn right here. Check it out. And, and that's how I feel. I feel privileged, truly. Tom, thank you. Peter, thanks, man. What I call an interesting interview. Thanks, man. <laughs> um, it was terrific. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. you, you <laughs> it was terrific? God, you I thought it was terrific. Even, when, even after you told me to learn some manners. <laughs> that's all right. You stepped out of line. I whacked you. We got, we got on with it. Good on you. <laughs> So you gotta give him credit there, that's pretty amazing. Again, Tom Cruise, he is pretty next level when it comes to charisma, confidence, assertiveness, whatever else uh, other opinions you might have on him. But notice how he sets that boundary, he takes control, he does not let up, but then he's totally willing to be friendly, he's smiling, so that is such a powerful control he has. That is even far beyond if he held a grudge. Granted, if someone consistently crosses boundaries, you might want to keep in mind that you're going to watch them, but his ability not to show that he's hurt emotionally to keep his composure is huge. So that is it from Tom Cruise. And there's some really important things that you can see there with assertiveness is number one, he really knows where his boundaries are. He doesn't question it. So when the interviewer is asking him things he does not like, Tom Cruise recognizes it. He does not wonder, oh, should I answer these questions? He knows where he stands. So the lesson there is know where your boundaries are. The next thing you see from him is he clarifies the question. This is a very specific technique. When someone is saying something to you, it's a bit rude or passive aggressive. You can do a very simple thing like, what was that? Uh, explain that. And many times people will back off. That's a little bit of a secondary line of defense. Take care.